Hello my students, how are you today? I hope that you are go going very, very well. And today we have the exam theme. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start with the exam theme. Today's week, uh, this week, and this is the last topic I am checking in your exam. Uh -huh. It's going to be first conditional. On the first conditional we stop so we can check the topics for the exam okay so first conditional and this is very very easy first conditional is going to express a cause and a consequence uh -huh. that is the purpose of first conditional and the consequence will be in the future as it is going to be in the future we are going to use our beautiful auxiliary will uh -huh. so I will give to you an example and later okay let's, let's think about something that will have a consequence in the future oh, for example the um the covid no the the pandemic we are living so uh, that will bring a consequence in the future no so but for example and here my example if you don't study at home you won't have good grade okay so check how i am expressing my consequence in the future with want Okay, now let's go back a little so you can better understand my example. Remember that will has two options, positive will and negative is won't. Okay, so future will is that yes, it's going to happen and future won't is that it won't happen, just negative, not in the future. Okay, so again, again, I will provide another example. For example, uh, if I pay attention to my virtual teacher, yeah? I will pass my exam, yes? That is cause and consequence in the future, okay? And now another example can be, uh, if I do my activities, I will receive 10 in my activities. Yes, you will receive, okay? So cause, consequence in the future, yes? Another can be, uh, if I study, no, if I study, I will receive a prize at home, yes? Maybe that will be a consequence, I don't know, I am wondering, yeah, I don't know. But the point is that you understand my students is that we have a cause and consequence. Now, the cause uh -huh, is going to be represented always with the word if. Uh -huh. If I, in the action, uh -huh, if I do this, so let's follow with the structure, okay? Always with the word if. If I study, okay, we will have the consequence. It's going to be in future. I will pass the exam. Okay, so observe the structure, my students. Okay, is if plus the subject plus the situation in the present, no, verb in present, comma, and it's mandatory that you can write the comma because it's dividing cause and consequence, comma, subject. Uh -huh. and consequence in the future with will and the action okay so I hope that this is very clear uh, I will present to you some examples of conditions now so you can observe uh -huh, and you can see how they are uh, divided and how we can uh, be creating our examples I hope that uh, the activities that I designed for you are uh, helpful and on Friday we are going to have a check of this uh -huh. so have a very nice day and I see you tomorrow in the next video. I never met